and a special welcome to everybody who has joined us for our coverage of this, the penultimate game in this prestigious competition. Things are beautifully poised, delicately poised. The two sides separated by just the odd goal at the end of the first 90-minute tie. It is a scoreline which is more than reversible, even on hostile territory. A small corner devoted to the visiting supporters in terrific voice. They clearly believe it is on. The Camp Nou once again decorated in the colours of Barcelona. This is what greets the players every time. Relative comfort for the hosts who just need to hold on. The visitors have some turning round to do and will give it a big crack. Well, I think we all need to remind ourselves, Peter, that this is by no means a decisive advantage and that one goal is all that's needed. So I suspect this might be a bit of a slow burner to start. An early goal would be ideal, it could really spark it, but not necessarily crucial. Certainly not so crucial you just go full throttle from the get-go. So it's the way we go then. Manchester United were so disappointed to lose in front of their own fans in the first leg. But that means anything less than a win and they would miss out on the final. And it's been taken straight back. Joaquin. And it's Messi. And here's Griezmann. He's had a go! Marvellous goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Manchester United take the lead and chip away at their aggregate deficit. And it's played forward. Messi concedes a free kick for that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Jordi Alba, and he's got the ball glued to his feet. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And that's been levered clear. And here's Messi. Grealish. Joaquin has it in a wide position, so what next? And that has been cleared. Beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that leaves the opposition chasing shadows. Raul. Now it's Messi. Has a goal! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Messi really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. And it's Inui, looking to force his way through. And he's straight offside.
Raul, Di Maria, now it shoots! Back of the net! They have edged ahead overall! Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Manchester United, keep ahead on aggregate, it was always on. Roberto. Koulibaly. Koulibaly drives it forward. Well, that had to be more accurate. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. It's Di Maria! Messi! Oh, nearly. Nearly is nothing. Messi weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. Hoist it forward. And he's on his way! And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. And the semi-final reaches halfway. Would you review the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Manchester United ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. Already up and running for the second half. Koulibaly. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba goes looking. And here's Raul, and here's Messi. It's Griezmann! He's been off try. Griezmann usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. United with this handy looking 2 0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Di Maria, who has made his impact already. In Louis. Jordan Henderson. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. has shown him a yellow card. And looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge. <laughs> Manchester United are making a change now. He's gone for goal! This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. It's Di Maria. 
Jimenez. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Now it's Joaquin. Towering header! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Oh, Peter, the best counter-attacks are, are pacey and incisive, we know that. And, and that one never really got going. Manolas plays it forward. Inouye. Oh, he's broken through. Barcelona are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And here's Griezmann. Out to the right. Fence has got rid of that. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. He's played him through. That's gone a long way up and away. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. Di Maria. And that's that. Manchester United have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expecting to win it. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, they've grown in stature and confidence with every step and one big step away from the trophy now.